This is Steve Vistillo from P2 Automation. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to filter the data in your views. There's two ways to do it. The simplest way is to do it with the columns. So let's say you want to see all the names that have an email address. Go to the email column and filter where the email contains data. We have it on most of these contacts. So out of the 911 we started with, 908 have an email address. You could do things like equals, not equals, contains data, does not contain data, greater than, less than, and it varies depending on the type of field. These are all text fields, but if you had numeric data, you'd see slightly different information here in the filter. And if you had a date column, you'd see different information still. What if you want to filter on a column that doesn't appear? Let's say you want to show all the contacts in a particular state because you're doing a trade show. What you could do in that case is click on the Edit Filters button and what you'll see is some filters that were part of the view. So this is active contacts, so it shows you where the status equals active, and the email contains data because we did that. If you want to look for the state, you'll probably want to go to the parent record. So although you can add a row if you did have addresses on the contact itself, we're actually going to go to the related entity. And again, we want to go to companies based on the account. Again, not intuitive, but that's where you'll go. And look for the state that may appear under address one state. We actually get rid of the address one part on most of our systems. So you want to go to state and province equals Connecticut and apply. And there's 21. If you'd like help getting your CRM system up and running, reach out to us today at www.p2automation.com.